بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد reading from chapter uh, from Sahih Muslim the chapter of Imara which illustrates for us the importance of following the Muslim ruler as long as a Muslim as long as the leader remains in the fold of Islam is still a Muslim then it is upon us to hear and obey and as long as the leader is calling us to do what's in accordance with the Sharia which that which is good and that which is is not contradicting the Sharia then we should obey it. Why? Because that's obeying Allah and His Messenger. Not, it is not maqsood or it's not intended to follow someone who is a disbeliever. But what the intention is to follow Allah and His Messenger. So, for example, for us who, as Muslim minorities who live in places where the ones who are charged in authority over us are non-Muslims. If they order us to do something that's in accordance with Islam, then we must do it. Why? Because it's in accordance with Islam. Because it is Islam. We're ordered to follow Islam. We're not ordered to follow them. However, these things are very important and complex. And we have to look at what do the Nusus say? What does the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say in regarding, regarding the leader? So let's look at the hadith in Sahih Muslim. Qala haddathana Hassan ibn Rabi' Qala haddathana Hamad ibn Zayd An Ja'ad Abi Uthman An Abi Raja' An Ibn Abbasin Yarwihi Qala Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Min ra'a min amirihi shay'in yakrahu Fal yasbar Fa'innuhu may فَإِنَّهُ مَنْ فَارَكَ الْجَمَاعَةَ شِبْرٍ فَمَاتَ مَيْتَةٍ جَاهِلِيَةٍ In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that was narrated by Ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever sees something from his leader that he doesn't like, فَلْيَسْبَرْ Then be patient. For verily, the one who divides the jama'at, you know, breaks from the main body of the Muslims, even a hand span, uh, even a hand, a hand span length, then they will, they have died the death of jahiliya. So this shows us an extreme wa'id, or a very shadid wa'id, a very serious punishment that is upon those people who break the jama'at of the Muslimin, who call to rebelling against the ruler, who call to protest against the ruler, who make takfir of the rulers, who break away from the main body of the Muslims, calling everyone an innovator and everyone a kafir who doesn't agree with their jama'at and going against the leader. This is the case of many of these, uh, these groups that we find out there are these sects that have broken away from the main body of the Muslims. And ala rasihim al khawarij. The main group is the khawarij, those people who make takfir of the Muslims for the major sins. And the khawarij in this time are responsible for so much fawdha and so much fitna. We see them all around the world causing uh, explosions and suicide bombs. In the name of Islam, billah, and Islam is free from these evil acts. However, these people taint and distort Islam without any knowledge most of the time. And those people amongst them who have some knowledge have illustrated that they lack much knowledge. They have something, but they really have nothing. Billah, min, minhum, because they farak al jama'ah. They divide the main body of the Muslims. In another hadith in Sahih Muslim, وَقَالَ حَدَثْنَا شَيْبَان قَالَ حَدَثْنَا شَيْبَان ابن فُرُوخ قَالَ حَدَثْنَا عَبْدُ وَارِثْ قَالَ حَدَثْنَا جَعَدْ قَالَ حَدَثْنَا أَبُو رِجَاء الْعُطْرَادِ عن ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنه عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال
من كريا من أميره شيء فليصبر عليه فإنه ليس أحد من الناس خرج من السلطان شبرا فمات عليه إلا مات ميتة جاهلية. In this hadith, which is also a narration of Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنه, which basically has the same meaning that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, whoever dislikes something from his Amir, meaning the leader of the Muslims, the leader in the country, etc., if he dislikes something from them, then he should be patient upon it. For verily there isn't a single person who revolts against the leader even just even if it's a hand span and he dies upon that meaning die in a state of rebellion revolting causing calling to protest and boycotting the leader and all these other types of and the various types of protests regardless of whether it's the tongue or it's the hand with the sword and he dies upon this then he has died upon he has died the death of the people of Jahiliyyah. So again, it was a strong warning from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And what we take from this is that it's important to be with the main body of the Muslims. Be with Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah and stay away from the Khawarij. Stay away from those people who call to the sword. And stay away from those people who call to rebellion and call to uh, making takfir uh, against the Muslims and call to that which goes against Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam based on the opinions and ta'wil of their Imams instead of going to the ta'wil of the Salaf we just gave you from Sahih Muslim we just gave you from the explanation of Imam Nawawi we just gave you what the Imams say and the Jamhur the, the, the Jamhur meaning majority of the scholars hold those views in regards to rebelling against the Muslim that it is not permissible in fact, there is ijma as far as rebelling against the Muslim. There is consensus of staying away and avoiding those things. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.